As far as we can tell, Josh Pastner does not have Ebola, <laughs> uh, nor has he been exposed to it. Uh, he's been exposed to the media a lot, and uh, thankfully he's not sick of us yet. Uh, good to see you, Coach, as always. Thank you for the time. Tomorrow is Memphis Madness, and this is not a, a, a sports talk show, and uh, some people um, have heard you on those shows now for weeks on end. So we feel let's, for pret you. let's pretend like that we don't know anything about what's happening with this basketball team and address it from an entirely fresh approach. No, first of all, uh, I, I appreciate you guys having me on, really do, and uh, glad to have an opportunity to talk something sometimes other than basketball. Yes. So, you know, that's, that's always refreshing for me. Yeah, but, that uh, I'm sure may get a yeah. little bit old. But, um, uh, but no, just, just from, from ground zero, basically, uh, from, the, from the very beginning with this year's team, we're pretty much of a new team. Uh, we lost a lot of seniors last year. So for everyone out there for who, who, who maybe doesn't know all the particulars, just likes to watch the games, uh, we really have a brand new team. We're very young, we're very inexperienced. Uh, we got a lot of new fresh faces and uh, you know, a, lot to, uh, a lot to look forward to uh, for the season, not only for this season, but the future. Uh, we have Memphis Madness tomorrow night, doors open five. You can get autographs at five. The basketball activity start at six. Uh, everything will be appropriate for all ages, and then and and this event's really for recruiting, <coughs> because we right. have we, 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 we have high level recruits coming in, um, both in the 15 class, 16 class, 17 and 18 classes. A lot of these kids don't only get a chance to see the FedEx Forum one time, and it's not going to maybe be during a game because right. they're playing during the season while we're playing. So. Right. This event's really important for, for recruiting. And it is going to be a family-friendly vibe, as it uh, should be. There are some raised eyebrows about Rick Ross. Yeah. But we all understand the culture that surrounds this, look, the, the entirety the, of this. The, it's, it's, you know, the 17, 18-year-old, old, 16, 17-year-old kid that we're recruiting, yeah. the reality of it is... Um, he's uh, a hero to them. That's, he, he, he's a millionaire, multi-millionaire. Yeah. Uh, whether we all disagree with it, it's just... It's, it is what it you, is. You can put your head in the sand and, yeah. and go the other way, sure. but it's it's the reality. And and in my line of work, my job is to try to get the best players in the country. Your number one job as a coach of this program or any program like it is to recruit. Yeah. That is your number one thing. Yeah. Your, then your second job is to uh, define the roles of these young men and make them understand yeah. that this, is, this, this is, isn't all about them. Correct. It's about a team, it's about chemistry, yeah. and they'll get their minutes if they listen to you and play along with the program. Yeah, no, you're, you're absolutely right. And, and you know, it's, uh, and, that's, and that's not an easy thing because you have every guy coming in who is kind of the star of their team, and, mm -hmm. and all of a sudden you're telling them to, to, it's not about I, it's about we and us, and you've got to you know, be together. and. Uh, and everyone's heard from all along, you're going to play in the NBA, you're going to be a pro, you're going to do this, you're going to do that. So now you're trying to mesh and bring them together. And that's why you talk about chemistry and camaraderie. All those things matter. Yeah. All those things really matter. So these new youngins that are coming in here, um, which of these bright new faces, um, some are freshmen, some are not. Uh, so how, how are they fitting so far with the guys who have come back? We, we, we've done a lot of good stuff that we've done. Um, you know. I'm a big believer in discipline and structure and organization, and I've always held the individual. If he was a little late to class or a little late or if he did I'd always discipline the individual. What I've started doing this past spring through the summer and up to this point, if someone a minute or two late or whatever, I punish the whole team and try to hold everyone. Instead of just doing the individual now, the whole team pays the price, trying to hold them accountable. So they, they, they don't want to let their teammates down. Right. And, I, and that's what we're trying to build with the chemistry and the camaraderie. We also did this thing this year for a whole week, starting at like 5 in the morning to about 7.15. We went through the uh, Army ROTC uh, boot camp, which is really great for our guys. Really, really good. Uh, Master Sergeant Smith ran it for us. It was awesome. One of a great team building opportunity for us. Also understood that... Physical and mental Physical stuff. and mental, and, but it also had our guys understand how great these young men and women, what they do in, yeah. in real life, you know, I mean, uh, and... and and, 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 you know, in the end, I, I, and also what I think was really good for guys, I understood about the importance of just standing properly for the national anthem because now they've gone through it and they see mm -hmm. what it means. Good. You know, because I don't think people always understand about the importance of that. And, yes. and, and That's always so, been one of my pet peeves yeah. when you watch these guys that are busy adjusting yeah. their cods or staring yeah. off into space. Show some respect. I, 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 I make our team, no matter where it is, on the road or at home, always be out there for the national anthem. And, and now that our guys go through it, and I obviously have explained it in the past, but now hearing from a 
actual person who's been in combat and then having people who are preparing to go in combat to, to be alongside them, they have a greater under perspective. The understanding yeah. of what you're standing for when you're at the national right. anthem. Yeah, you know? that so, and getting up at 5 a.m. Yeah, as opposed yeah. to being up yeah. till 5 a.m. Exactly, exactly, exactly. So just getting out of their comfort zone was a good form. Josh Pastner is here tomorrow. Memphis Madness is uh, happening. GoTigersGo.com. There are a few seats left. The idea to charge five bucks, I thought, was a good one. That puts, uh, as you mentioned, uh, some more structure into the entire yeah. process. Well, um, it, it, it puts structure. The FedEx form really wanted structure. And secondly is, um, um, you know, it's just to offset some of the cost uh, because you got to, you know. Pay your Yeah, you're, you're, you're got you're to pay them. And, uh, um, and so so we'll see. You know, I mean, it, uh, it, 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 it's, it's, it's an event that, that teams, and here's the other thing. There's a lot of programs that do these type of events, you know. I mean, that they, a program maybe has Ludacris coming or this person's got Drake coming or this school's got this school guy coming, this entertain. So you're competing against a lot of schools for right. the kids. So you've got to have a good entertainer to bring the kid to your to your. So to your are campus. all these programs uh, doing this this weekend? Is this the it, first this weekend? Is, this is the weekend you're doing. A lot of people are doing it tonight. The only reason we didn't do it tonight is because the Grizzlies play tonight. So okay. we did it tomorrow. But a lot of programs either do it tonight or tomorrow. Now, I thought it was kind of a good thing. Uh, all these polls come out. And I think that one of the worst parts about sports radio and the sports media is the incessant need to predict and analyze things before they've ever happened. Yeah. Uh, it gets really old. Now, these polls have come out, and for the first time in several years, Memphis isn't on it. Right. I think that's a good thing. You know what? I, I, I don't disagree with you. Now, of course, if you ask me, I would prefer to be preseason ranked number one, just to... But boy, you're the, set the yourself publicity. up for <laughs> I, You do set yourself up. But but I will say, no, it, it, look, I, I'm 100% in agreement that... Make them work for it. it, it you got to earn it, and in the end, the rankings and the polls... Once the ball's tipped, you got to do the job on the floor. And at the uh, end of the year, where they're ranked, is what matters. That, that's what matters in the very end. It's, Not it's, now. It, it, you're one thousand percent right. So, um, you know, it just it's it's something that uh, uh, it's nice for publicity, but in the end, it, once the ball's tipped, you got to you got to win the game on the floor. So Shaq and Austin are back. You've got uh, Pookie Powell, who yep. everybody likes him. Love to have a guy named Pookie. I think he'll be one of the all-time great favorites, as in terms of names, with the Pookie with Pookie. And you've got uh, fewer guards to uh, shuffle around yep. and try to appease this year. Uh, this young man from uh, Vandy. Discuss him for yep. a moment. He's been discussed a lot. Is he in shape? Is his head right? All yeah, that? you know, Kedron Johnson's a, a, a nice, nice young man, and um, um, he's he's a very good player. He's been a two-year, you yeah. know, he was at Vanderbilt two years, started his sophomore year every game, led him in scoring, assist, and steals. Um, his whole thing was when he came in, he, he was so out of shape. You both would have beat him in line drills, I'm telling you. You would have beat him in a, in a sprint, I promise you. That's I guarantee a, I could have. I, yes, he was, that, he was that much out of shape. So, uh, and not that you guys aren't out of shape. I don't mean to say that in, in that way. Come on, Josh. Look <laughs> I'm just saying he, was, he definitely was in shape to be a high-level athlete in college basketball. But um, uh, he, he, you know, he's, we've worked him hard to get himself in shape. Um, so we'll see. He, he's a big guard. He's 6'4". He's like 220, 225. I mean, he's not... He's not a skinny guy. I mean, right. he's he's not, and he's not going to be a jet. He's a big guard, and that's how he's going to be. But he's got to be in good enough condition to be able to last for a long periods of time. In this conference, where do you rank this team uh, going into the season? You know, I, I think we'll be picked in the preseason. We'll be probably picked third. Uh, I think they'll pick SMU and UConn. Uh, but again, just to follow back with the with the polls, all that stuff doesn't matter. I mean, yeah. because Cincinnati's good, and Temple's going to be good, and. Tulsa, who's coming to the league, is going to be good. So it's going to be a really good basketball league. Josh Pastner is our guest tomorrow at Memphis Madness. We talked about this off the air briefly, and you're a man of character, which everyone knows, and a, a class act and a good guy uh, in your heart. What do you make of, as we sit around and watch people like Jameis Winston and Florida State, and I'm not asking you to pass judgment, but doesn't this seem to have been extremely uh, poorly handled? You know, uh, it, it, it's a it's a it's a good debate because again, obviously, I, you know, I'm not there and I don't know all what's going on, and and and, and uh, we all understand that that you 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 have to have good players to win and everything mm -hmm. else, but there's also one understanding that, um, you know, kind of where there's there's smoke, there could be fire. You wouldn't have put up with this for ten <laughs> seconds. No, no, absolutely not. And and um, that you're exactly right. Um, and and but that being said. Um, I'm not in this. I don't know all the facts and all the details. I'm getting the same right. info that you're getting right. from the outside. So um, repeated offenses, though. Yeah, and, and, and we all make mistakes. 
Cor- but you know, when cor- you're in that kind of a profile, correct. You and, can't and, get and, and and regardless of what people say, you are a role model. Whether you want to yeah. say, hey, it's up to the no, no, no. People look up to you. You have a responsibility, whether you want to do it or not. And I always tell our guys, if you don't like it. Then, you, then here, give me your scholarship back. Just go be a normal student, and sure. you don't have to follow under the same guidelines. I'm, and I'm that's. But once you put your name on that dotted line, or you want, or you elected to play at this level, whether whatever sport it is, being on television, you are a role model. Whether you want to accept it or not, you have to accept that responsibility. Well, good answer, and it's unfortunate to watch this because there are so many good kids, and you know, I just and, it's it, just it, hard. Well, to well, watch and, and, and I and here's why I want, want to say in this. None. It's just it's the same thing as as law enforcement. You might have if you have one maybe bad apple. It doesn't make all law enforcement. You have one exactly. bad teacher who does. Sure. The majority, but as you guys know, with media sometimes, which we are very appreciative of the media, it can sensationalize sure. because I, it's a lot of times negativity can sell. And, yes. And and there's a lot of good out there in college athletics. Ninety nine point nine percent of it's really really positive. Well, very good. And this program is positive. Everybody is excited for the uh, season to begin. Now, tomorrow we have this, and we're going to have uh, some showtime and some dunking and some dancing and all some that, carrying on. Yeah, all up. that good stuff, and, and, and it'll be, it's going to be a fun evening. It's going to be a lot of energy and a lot of positive energy. I'm actually going to be uh, partaking in it. I'm going to be involved in it. I'm coming out of retirement in, in some of the shooting drills, and so I'll be coming out, so I'll be able to – people, if they want to have an opportunity to not only critique my coaching, but critique my playing What if you, like, airball a bunch of stuff and just that, fall down and I, 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 That won't be good stuff. because if, if we don't shoot well during the season, they'll say, here's the coach who's airballing. Yeah, you know, there you go. All, so I, all, I could really set myself up not in for good position. And if can I, I suggest well. one yeah. one drill for them to do? Shooting free throws. Yes. It turns out that's very important. You, in the game you, college and, and let me tell you this. Connecticut, who won the national championship last year, Led the country in free throw shooting. Is that and, right? And they led the NCAA tournament in free throw shooting. So mm-hmm. if, if you don't think that it matters, and it matters, I'm with you 100. percent It seems that a lot of teams put that last on the list. You know what? And and we spent a lot of time on it. It really it's different between winning and losing. I mean, there's just no One other way point, to put it. Two point games. I mean, it's pretty obvious. I mean, look. I mean, I mean, when you're looking at the percentages, I mean, it, Connecticut they won the national championship because of free. I really beca- believe because of free throw shooting. Very good, sir. So all this tomorrow, and uh, you're being encouraged to come early because there'll be lines of people. Yeah, doors open 5 o'clock. And behave on Beale Street. Let's not act a fool down there. Uh, show some respect uh, and go sing your young Tigers play. The season begins the 12th of next month with Christian Brothers, an exhibition game, and then it's on. Uh, I guess all these games are going to be on television somewhere. ESPN has a bunch of games this yep. year. Fox yep. Sports 1. So. Uh, it's Tiger basketball time again. It's great to see you as always. Thank you for the time, and uh, we'll hear you. I guess we'll see you on TV. We'll see you on TV. I appreciate you guys having me. And uh, anytime. Uh, appreciate you guys very much. Thank you, Josh. Pass Tigers. We'll be right back.